So the main reason why I, this Julian Blank guy and his um, pickup artist at um, RSD, um, Real Social Dynamic, it raised red flags for me, was that um, the, his actions have real repercussions to um, women in real life. In Spokane, Washington, um, in August 2000, I'm uh, reading this from a, a Tumblr called This Is Not Japan, um, Two white men and a woman specifically hunted random Japanese women and elaborately planned a scheme to kidnap, rape, sodomize, torture, and videotape them. Their motivation, according to police reports, was that these rapists had a sexual fantasy and fixation about young Japanese women who they believed were submissive. These predators abducted five Japanese exchange students ranging from age 18 to 20, and um, they repeatedly raped vaginally, anally, and orally two of the young women over a seven-hour ordeal. And this is the type of sick stuff that, it, I mean, the stuff that Julian is doing, it could elevate to that. I mean, it's already mad enough that he is basically violating these women's spaces and putting their head down. It's extremely disrespectful and disgusting. But he is perpetuating the idea that Asian women and women in general, they, they'll just be receptive to this. And he chokes girls all over the world. He has a hashtag like choking girls all over the world. And that's his open. His, it's... He's using like emotional and physical abuse as as a way to pick up girls, and it's it's dangerous. This type of thinking is dangerous, and and this specifically for Asian women, there is a real repercussion for Asian women in America in uh, white, uh, predominantly white spaces or predominantly non-Asian spaces. That things like what happened in Spokane, Washington, in autumn of two thousand it's it would that these people didn't just get these ideas that asian women are submissive out of nowhere it's from people like julian blank and that is why he is dangerous